Whoa! It's the illusion. Reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Driving up the 101. Sun is making its move. California! <laughs> yeah, burning on the golden shores. So, uh, yep, here we are. I thought I would check in and just just give my give the glory to God. Wow, what what an interesting interesting time we're in, right? Here we are. It's it's uh it's it's time. It's this place. It's the space to be in. Don't cave now. Don't cave now. I was listening to some Anthony Patch and I was listening to one of his early, early clips from six or seven years ago where he's calling all of this out, where he's calling all of it out. And, and the thing that, that we have to remember is that, that this is all trying to mimic God. All of this is trying to, to do a shuck and jive on God. And that's for everything that's going on right now is about God. It's about your relationship with God, my relationship with God, and everybody else's relationship with God. And I think what, what people lose track of is the devil's fully aware of this, this journey with God that we're on, and he's trying to, trying to trick us, the great trickster. And he has a bunch of agents you know, call them the global elite, the secret societies, what have you. Call them what you will. And they know. They And I've said it before. They study the Bible and the Quran and, and the teachings of Buddha and all of it. They, they, they know these. They know all the, the prophets. They know, they know Jesus Christ and, and his message better than most people do who claim to... Call it, they know it better than I do, right? They studied the words of the Bible in more in depthly than I've had, but they've had, you know, centuries and centuries to study it. And they have all the hidden technology. And they have all of it. They have all of it, but they don't have you. And they don't have me. And see, they can have everything in this lower dimensional world but it means nothing because they can't achieve the higher consciousness. See, that's the trick of the devil. The devil never can be God. The devil wants to pretend to be God. The devil desires to be God, but it just can't happen because the devil just doesn't have the consciousness, doesn't have the power, doesn't have the ability. And that is, that is the hubris and the folly of those that would try to deceive us. And again, is, is the, the rub of the whole thing is, is no one can force you to do anything. No one can trick you to, to stick things in your body, go with certain groups of people, denounce other groups of people, fill your heart with hate. Nobody can make you do that. It's a trick. Only you can choose to abandon God because you're afraid. Like, that's what's so interesting. And why would you abandon God because you're afraid? Because you would have to look at yourself and realize that that you are fallen. Right? So the, the, the trick of the, the system is, is you, you'll, we'll give you salvation down here in this lower dimensional world. Just give us your authority. Give us the authority over you. And most people think the authority is, is their ability to make money, you know, travel, do things, be famous, not famous, grow potatoes on a Sunday, whatever it may be. No, they want to trick you to give up the authority to choose God, right? It's, it's, that's the thing is it's so simple. But see, fear, somehow fear, and I don't really know what it is because I don't live in it, but somehow fear will convince people to turn their back on God because that's what the devil's done is, is 
is dressed up God as, as, as the devil when God is God is love and so it's that thing of, of why would you choose if God is love everything else is, is hate why would you why would you choose hate and fear but it's that thing because because you haven't kept to your authority and your authority knows you deep down inside of your soul know the difference between right and wrong between love and hate between God and the devil but like that's the thing is is the confusion the confusion of all this down there the mind washing the control the abuse this is a you know you can listen to a lot of people and 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 on the uh the political spectrum especially on the left talk about the abuse of the system the abuse of of various economic forms and various governments and and they understand the abuse but they don't quite get what the abuse is see they they think they can they think they can escape the abuse by being the abuser and see that's the devil's trick right now is you can you can get out of this circular firing squad by being the first to pull the trigger. You know what I mean? Like, no, no. If I if you pull the trigger first, you'll get out of the circular firing squad. You'll be able to move quick enough. Your uh, twitch reflex will work. But there's no once you've gone into that that mindset of fear and sacrificing others for your well-being, you've sold your soul for rock and roll. And, and that's what's going on, on on steroids right now. It's it's people willing to sell sell the children down the river for the protection of the government, the the the, the organizations that claimed it to be about medicine and health. See, people are being tricked to, to sell one soul to save their own. But see, God doesn't need you to trick you. God tells you. you the only soul you need to save is your own and the, 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 there is no cost there's, there's nothing but, but, but gift and giving see God loves you and God loves me see that's the thing that's why God already, God already sent Jesus down here to pay the price that's the hardest part about it you don't have to sacrifice someone else's soul to save your own soul Jesus gave up Jesus nailed, got nailed to the cross for your soul. You see, that's the trick right there. That's that's the whole thing that's going on. And many people see. I I, I don't know. If many people don't don't understand that and just kind of poo poo it and discount it. And yet, yet it, the proof's all around you. The proof can can even be the inversion of that. Like the, like the proof of it all is actually the disbelief of it all. You know? If Jesus didn't give his life to save your soul, then why is all this trying to... Why is all this down here doing what it's doing, dude? Trying to trick you. They have to do all of this. They have to make all of these roads and needles and, and laws and... and institutions and principalities to trick you. They can't just do it. Jesus came down here and just was like, hey, check it out. Come with me. You can come with me. Or you can sit around in here and be totally tricked by this whole thing down here. Look at all this stuff they have to build to trick us. That's how, that's how powerful you are. That's how powerful your choice is. See, they're afraid of you, and somehow you've, they've convinced you to be afraid of your fellow human beings, your other, your other people that God loves. Somehow the system has tricked people to sacrifice God's other perfect beings instead of sacrificing them. See, they, they're merely sacrificed by, by choosing God. Once, you, once you've chosen God, once you've chosen the, the loving, abundant embrace of, of 
Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, God. You don't have to be afraid they can't get you anymore. They can't get you anymore. They have to build a, a new mouse trap, a better mouse trap. But see, we have discernment so we can see past their mouse trap. It's kind of amazing if you think about it. You just really sit back and detach from it and just look at all the work they have to go into tricking you into selling your soul for rock and roll. Wow. And and the and the other way, all you gotta do is just ask God for help. God help me. Please forgive me, God. God's like, I got you, dude. You're already forgiven. All I was waiting for you to do was take the simple loving path to me. You were gonna go the complicated route over here with the trickery and the smoke and the mirrors and the nonsense. When I've been sitting here, all you had to do is just come and ask me. And I would, and, and I'll tell you, the question was already answered. You didn't have to ask me anything. I've always been here loving you. God's always been sitting here loving you. That's, that's the trick. Is, 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 is making it seem so complicated when all you have to do is get on your knees and pray. Just ask God for forgiveness. And the Rob is, he already forgave you, dude. Isn't that cool? I think that's super cool. It gets me fired up. That gets, that makes me completely understand that there's nothing to be afraid of down here. Yeah, it's gonna get hectic, it's gonna get gnarly, it's people are gonna just lose their minds and freak out and flip out because they didn't choose God and they're gonna gnash their teeth and all that stuff. But, but we don't have to be afraid of that. It's wonderment. We can just be like, wow. Wow, you could have just fully chose God. Could have just gone over and just been God. God's like, yeah, I've got you. Got you. Anyway, it's time to be strong. Time to take care of your body, your soul, your emotions. I keep saying it over and over again. Every day you, every day you don't go and deal with the shadows inside of you. That's the day the devil gets stronger. The, the virus gets stronger. The fear gets stronger. You can't be afraid if you don't have any shadows lurking around in your closet, right? Come into the light. Come into the light. God's waiting for you. God loves you. There's nothing to be afraid of down here. All right, I got to stop this video. Intersection. All right, it's the illusion signing off. And uh, huh? signing off t-shirts, links down below. Support the channel. Support yourself. Love yourself. Be kind of the cashiers. Use the name tags. All right.